the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to Growing in Grace, your daily inspiration program at Caption TV. With you this week, I'm Sister Frida K. Meriti from the Congregation of Nazareth Sisters of the Annunciation. Today is Tuesday in the 12th week of ordinary time. We reflect on the theme, God's consistent intervention for those who hope in him. From the first reading, the Assyrian king's insolent attacks are not only directed to Jerusalem, but to the Lord too. Jerusalem is wondrously saved and Isaiah promises deliverance for the remnant. The gospel lays great emphasis on the saying that the gate is narrow and that the way that leads to life is hard and those who find it are few. From age to age, God jealously guards his people and remains faithful to his promises. For I will defend this city to save it for my own sake and for the sake of David, my servant. That is Second Kings chapter 19. We can marvel at God's persistence in fulfilling his promises to his people through the history of his intervention to save the people of Israel and of course the church. The key question to ask today is, do you believe that God goes out of his way to defend you and fight for you in the midst of your most difficult problems? Just as God intervened to abort the invasion of Judah, so is he faithful to defend and fight for us in whichever difficult situations that we may be in. God may have to discipline and correct us at times just as he did to Israel, but that doesn't mean that he has allowed us his beloved possession to be destroyed. This reading reminds us that God continues to pour out graces and favors even when we least deserve it, because we are precious to him. We only need to trust fully in his unconditional love for him and to become more confident of his power to save us as well as to work in our daily lives. The gospel opens us to the fact that Jesus never promised that the Christian way of life would be easy. Hence, for the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life and those who find it are few. Matthew 7 verse 14. This is a fact to live with as we are confronted by temptations of all kinds that leave us with the choices to make. To love or hate our neighbor, to help someone or to bypass them, to obey God's commands or to ignore, to be instruments of peace and reconciliation or to promote division and separation, and some of us even face persecution openly because we uphold integrity and live our Christian values. We confidently walk hard road and even persist in it through suffering, atrocities, and adversities of life, not because we simply tolerate being Christians, but because we are aware that Jesus walks with us. This one fact makes all the difference between 
hopeless frustration and comfort between defeat and victory in our inner battles of faith guided by the words of Jesus. Do not give dogs what is holy and do not throw your pearls before swine. I would like to pose the following questions. Do you believe that every step you take you walk with Jesus who never abandons you? Do you believe that God has intervened in many difficult situations and that through Jesus the Son has paved a way for you even where there seemed to be no way? Are you convinced that God gives you everything that you need to follow him no matter how much frustrating the journey appears? Beloved, the realization of the presence of God through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit in our every moment of life gives meaning and purpose in our Christian life and enhances a greater sense of dignity and value as we become powerful ambassadors of Jesus. Lord Jesus, may your grace be sufficient for me today and always, that I may take one day at a time and faithfully do God's holy will. May God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Zama Kakuchin TV Huduma Katoliki ya Unjilizishaji